Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, since entering the modern industrial age, chips have become an industry that all countries in the world attach importance to, because chips are used in rockets, spacecrafts and satellites, cars, computers, mobile phones and other electronic devices. It is no exaggeration to say that whoever can master the most advanced and core chip technology will be able to occupy a dominant position in the future development of science and technology. For example, the United States, as the birthplace of semiconductors, was the first to invent transistor an integrated circuit technology, and mastered a large number of core technology patents. Therefore, American chip companies such as Qualcomm, Intel and NVIDIA almost dominate the global high-end chip market. Although the emergence and strong rise of Huawei's Kirin chip is like a sharp blade that pierces the heart of American chip companies, completely breaking their monopoly in the domestic market and beating Qualcomm back. But since the United States forcibly changed the chip rules and introduced the chip bill, Huawei has fallen into a dilemma. The self-developed Kirin chip has been unable to find a foundry channel and has been in a situation where there is no chip available for three years. In this environment, some domestic chip companies, such as Inspur and Ziguang, have also been greatly affected. However, what the United States never expected was that, thanks to its unremitting efforts and heavy investment in research and development, Huawei successfully achieved a breakthrough in just three years, and the Kirin chip also returned strongly in August 2023. Not only that, Huawei has now released the Mate 60 and P70 series flagship phones one after another, and the Mate 70 series will also be launched recently which also means that Huawei's Kirin chip has solved the supply problem. In addition to Huawei, China is also doing the same in the field of chip manufacturing and has made major breakthroughs frequently. As the largest chip manufacturer in the mainland, SMIC has always been very low-key. After all, it has been deeply cultivating the field of mature processes for many years. Compared with TSMC and MediaTek, it is definitely not as famous. But since Huawei was sanctioned, SMIC has taken the lead, first investing heavily in the construction of four wafer fabs in Shenzhen, Beijing, Shanghai and Tianjin to expand production capacity, and then frantically purchasing lithography machines. Its purpose is very simple, that is, to complete the goal set by the country as soon as possible. 70% of chips are localized. As the saying goes, God will not let down those who work hard. Like Huawei, SMIC has also achieved a series of results thanks to its unremitting efforts and investment. As early as the first two quarters of this year, SMIC surpassed Global Foundries and UMC in terms of revenue scale, becoming the second largest vertical wafer manufacturer after TSMC. What makes Global Foundries even more defensive is that according to the recent financial report released by SMIC, its revenue in the third quarter of this year was about 15.609 billion yuan, 
a year-on-year -year increase of 32.5% and a month-on-month -month increase of 14%. The overall capacity utilization rate also reached 90.4%, setting a historical record. Not only that, according to SMIC's expected full-year revenue report for 2024, its gross profit margin for the whole year is expected to be around 17%, and the monthly production capacity of 8-inch wafers at the end of the year will reach 900,000 pieces, which is equivalent to about 180 million chips. In this regard, Zhao Haijun also said that in order to meet customer needs, the company will accelerate the layout of power device production capacity to expand the development of the new energy vehicle market. On the other hand, the revenue of Global Foundries, a U.S. chip company, in the third quarter of this year was only 12.349 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year decline of 6%. The gap with SMIC has been widening. In this regard, even foreign media have said, Global Foundries is going to be completely broken this time. Looking back three years ago, Huawei had no chips available, and its mobile phone business fell out of the first echelon in a short time. Apple and Qualcomm became the biggest beneficiaries, and SMIC has always been behind Global Foundries and UMC, and was suppressed. But now Huawei has returned strongly, and returned to the first place in the mainland mobile phone market. SMIC has also surpassed Global Foundries and UMC, which can be said to be very gratifying. As the saying goes, there is no skin without scars. If it weren't for the United States' step-by-step -step pressure, China would not have risen so fast in the chip field. However, even if China has begun to rise now, it cannot be slack at all. Only by insisting on the road of self-research to the end, will it not be afraid of any so-called sanctions in the future. Huawei's Kirin chips have returned, and SMIC has surpassed Global Foundries to become the second largest wafer manufacturer. US sanctions have accelerated the development of China's chip industry, and insisting on self-research, is the key to not fearing sanctions in the future. Please like if you agree.